Hey friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. Since holidays are fast approaching, naturally, I haven't even started on buying Christmas gifts yet. No need to panic, I decided to buy myself a gift first to get the ball rolling, so to speak. Huh? Not just a pretty face. Now, I'm a pretty difficult person to shop for, so I decided to go on the internet and see what are the best gifts for watch collectors. The first article we're gonna take a look at here comes from a website called wired.com, a pretty popular website. They mainly focus on gadgets and electronics, but they probably know a thing or two about watches. So let's have a look here. Uh, the title of this article is 11 gifts precisely tuned for finicky watch lovers. Sounds exactly like me. Let's have a look here. All right, so the first gift is Nomos New York Sundial 2. And this is, well, I'm guessing it's a sundial watch. That's a necklace and it's for women. That's pretty good. Uh, $185, not too bad, especially since it comes from Nomos. Very popular watch brand. All right, I'm gonna say this is a pretty good watch gift. Two thumbs up, let's look at the next one. Black Dan Watch Roll 2. Okay, I would have settled for Watch Roll 1, but 2 of course is better than 1. So it's a travel watch case, looks like a leather watch case, 125 bucks. Not bad, again, two thumbs up. Maybe you don't have to spend 125 bucks, there's so many different options for cheaper than that. You can find them all over internet, and um, a lot of micro brands actually provide their own travel watch cases. Fun fact, I never bought one of these because a lot of micro brands like for example Zelos already come with a watch travel case. So I just use whatever they gave me. But if the watch collector you're shopping for doesn't have one of these, it's a great gift. Next up, a Houdinki One. Houdinki Traveler Sports Coat by Freeman's Sporting Club. $1,400, holy. All right, so what do we have here? Italian cashmere. Hmm, fancy. It's a traveler's blazer, essentially. It's a sports coat. No, two thumbs down for two reasons. The first thumbs down is because, well, I don't know anything about fashion. All I wear is this black shirt and a different white shirt. That's all I wear. So I don't know anything about fashion. But if I knew something about fashion, I would probably want to choose the sports coat myself and maybe get it tailored, try it on, and so on. So maybe, you know, it's not the best. And secondly, it's so expensive. I mean, I'm not an expert on sports coats, but almost $1,400 seems pretty steep to me, even though it is made out of Italian cashmere. Next up, a um, spring bar tool. Okay, pretty good gift, but $40, $38, yeah, that's a bit much. I'm a strong believer in buying quality tools, but 40 bucks is a little extreme, and if I were to buy a spring bar removal tool, I would buy one of those, like a two lever system. It's hard to explain, I'll pop a picture on the screen right here. They're so much easier to use, and since you're buying one anyways, might as well buy one of those instead of one of these. Trust me, it's way easier to use. All right, next up, oh, and this one gets one thumbs up. It's a pretty good gift, but it's not like fantastic, outstanding gift. What do we have here? Oh, fancy. So this is an area on France and Swiss border, and they have a lot of watch factories and watch shops, so a watch nerds went green. A pretty kick-ass uh, gift. I'm gonna give this one two thumbs up, uh, but probably very expensive, especially if you live in North America. In Europe, you can pretty much walk anywhere. In North America with the flight and now travel restrictions of course after the travel restrictions are lifted this is a fantastic gift right now not so much um, nevertheless if somebody wants to give me this gift I'll take it you know what I'll, I'll do it fine guys you talked me into it. I'll take this terrible gift I'm kidding two thumbs up fantastic gift next up uh, le <laughs> okay so this is a fondue set okay i guess it's for a watch lover 
At $200, poof. I love Fondue as much as the next guy, but I don't think it necessarily appeals to watch guys only. So, one thumbs up because of my love for cheese. Next up, a Loop System 2 Houdinki branded. You know it's gonna be expensive. Yep, it's expensive, $525. Uh, so, Loop is a great gift if somebody doesn't already have one. You don't have to spend 500 bucks on one, you can buy one for like 50 bucks or even cheaper than that. But if you want a good quality, probably about 30 to 50 bucks and you can buy a pretty good loop. Makes a great uh, stocking stuffer. Great gift, one thumbs up. Next up here, a single watch winder. Hmm. A pretty good gift, but my stance on watch winders keeps on changing. I personally don't have any. If I had one, I would buy one with multiple heads, so multiple watches can be wound at the same time and make it look uniform. With single watch winder, I would have to buy more of the same watch winder, so on the shelf, it doesn't look out of place. I don't wanna have one watch winder from one company, another one from a different company. It's gonna look like a mismatch. And I also don't wanna just have one, otherwise my other automatic watches will feel kind of lonely and left out. I'm very sensitive to that sort of thing. So this one, pretty good gift. I'd give it half a thumbs up. And you can find something for cheaper than $275. Of course, the more expensive ones are better because you can have different settings and different tempos and things like that. But you don't have to spend uh, 200 bucks or 300 bucks on one. You can buy one from Amazon for cheaper. Okay, next up, a NATO strap. Great gift. And don't buy this one, don't buy a $8 NATO strap. Look at this hardware, that looks cheap. If you're looking for a good quality NATO strap, head over to bondnatostraps.com. We have right now only three colors of NATO straps. We're working on adding more, but we have the two most popular sizes, the 20 millimeter and the 22 millimeter. Both of them are good quality. They have good hardware and they will last you for a pretty long time. So it makes it a great gift and a great stocking stuffer. Two thumbs up. Next gift, a Swatch System 51. Great watch, not the best gift. I don't like giving and receiving watches as a gift. And here's why. When you receive a watch as a gift, it, you instantly have this emotional connection to the watch and you can't sell it, you can't really trade it because you will feel bad. But what if you don't really love the watch and then it just sits in a box and it's kind of a waste of money, so to speak. So unless you really know the specific watch that the watch enthusiast or the watch collector in your life is looking for, don't buy one. Save the money and maybe give them like a gift card to Amazon or eBay or something like that and then they can buy the watch that they really want. Um, I'll give this one neutral. Could go either way. Next up, a microfiber cloth, $8, yeah. Don't spend money on a microfiber cloth. You know you can get those for free. Pretty much all the electronics that you will buy will give you one of these. So yeah. And also, if I received a microfiber cloth as a gift, I would think that I was pretty naughty that year. Not the best gift. One more list. This one is called Seven Last Minute Gifts for Watch Lovers, and it's on the website called barons.com. Don't know anything about this website, but go check them out. Let's see what they have here. Okay, so first one is, what is this? It's a Cartier Exceptional Watch Box. 9,000 US dollars. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, um, two thumbs up. If I got one of these, I'd be very happy. Next up, GLC Atmos clock, nine and a half thousand dollars. Okay, I see what's happening here. They tricked me, or I tricked them into thinking that I'm a millionaire so I can buy all these gifts. No, 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 no. This is not the list for us. We want the more affordable gifts list. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's see what else they have here. Okay, they have a travel watch case for $370. They have this watch winder for 
they have a watches guide by Hodenki. All right, that's a pretty good gift. 85 bucks, whew, pretty expensive book. Uh, okay, a watch leather strap. All right, not too bad. And what the hell is this? It's a illusion safe, compact, high security system for your watches. What, $22,000? Yeah, okay. I think we're done with this website. Let's see what else we have here. The last website we're gonna take a look at is called sharpmagazine.com. Check them out. Seems like a nice and professional website. And the name of this article is 14 gifts for watch lovers, parentheses that aren't watches. All right, let's take a look here. So we have first one up a watch case. Uh, yeah, a pretty good gift. What? $2,800. <laughs> Okay, so watch case itself, great idea, great gift, but you don't have to spend $3,000 on a watch case. I mean, you could spend $3,000 on a watch case if that watch case also comes with a Tudor watch included inside. Then it's okay to spend $3,000 on a watch case. Uh, but yeah, watch case itself, a pretty good gift idea. Next up, watch repair kit. Uh, another great gift idea. What? $1,100 <laughs> for a DIY repair kit? Okay, I'm starting to see the pattern here. Once again, I have tricked them into thinking that I'm a millionaire, but I like their gift ideas. So a watch repair kit, I think a great gift idea. Don't buy the cheapest one. Don't buy the one that's like 20 bucks on Amazon or 20 bucks on AliExpress. Spend a little bit more money, maybe 50 bucks or something like that. But a good quality watch repair kit is a great gift. Bet mobile desktop clock. Hmm. Hmm. That looks very cool. So it's like 1989 Batmobile. Yeah, it is. 30,000 <laughs> okay. $30, for this thing. Um, two thumbs up. Damn. Okay, so we have HSNY watchmaking school. Oh, that's a good idea. So it's a 60 to 90 minute session with the professional watchmakers that walk you through the disassembly and reassembly of a mechanical watch via live video. A hundred dollars. So I'm guessing it's like a hundred dollars for an hour or something like that. That's actually a really good gift. Uh, yeah. Two thumbs up. A watch making class, some kind of online course. All right. I dig that. Next up, Cartier throw blanket. What's a throw blanket? Oh, $1,600 Canadian. So it's pretty much free. So it's a blanket that you put across the back of your sofa. Uh, yeah, you can buy one for like 20 bucks, but it's not gonna have Cartier logo on it. So I guess it's garbage. Uh, this one here, uh, it's a weird gift, I don't know. If I received something like that that was over $1,500, but it was a blanket, I would be very confused. Next up, New Balance and Frank Mueller sneakers. As we established earlier, I know nothing about fashion, but these seem very ugly to me. What in the world? Why would you? Yeah, not a good gift. Done by these sneakers, 210 US dollars. I don't know. EBW watch roll. I see some fancy watches. It's probably gonna be expensive, $250. Okay, this is the most reasonable one. They had this Batmobile that's like 30 grand and then they have this pretty reasonable watch roll. But again, you don't have to spend as much money on a watch roll and a pretty good gift idea. Next up. Wolf Axis Triple Watch Winder. Now that's what I was talking about. You see multiple watches being wound at the same time. That's what I like. Maybe three or five or six watches. Pretty cool. But $1,600, yeah, a bit on the expensive side. 
a Bamford London strap tool. Oh, only 42 pounds. I mean only compared to all the other items on this list. I already talked about the spring bar removal tool so we don't have to go into it again. Alright, so what is this? Bugatti Great Illusion. So it's a Bugatti Chiron themed watch safe? How much is this thing? Price on request. Okay, you know it's gonna be expensive. And it weighs 215 kilograms. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty boss gift. Someone gives you this thing, you know they love you. And you probably live in a bad neighborhood. But then if I had one of these and it was so expensive, I'd be afraid of this thing getting stolen along with the watches inside of it. Even though it's so heavy, it's not like impossibly heavy. Just bring a dolly and you wheel this thing out with all your watches. So no, not a good gift. A Man and His Watch. Pretty good book. I had one of those on the shelf. Great gift. I actually did receive one as a gift for my birthday a couple of years ago. Next up, a GLC Atmos clock. I'm afraid to look at the price. $37,000. Yeah. Uh, actually, speaking of Atmos clocks, I really want to buy one. Obviously not the one for $37,000. You can find vintage ones for a lot cheaper. You can find one for under $1,000. And they are really, really cool. Chopard Classic Ballpoint Pen. Ooh, that looks nice. I know there are a lot of pen guys that are also watch guys and watch guys that are also pen guys. I don't know too much about pens, but this one here looks expensive. 800 bucks. I guess that's reasonable as far as pens go. I don't know. I don't know anything. And that's it. All right, so that's the video, the ranking of some good and some not so good gifts for a watch collector in your life. Hopefully you had some fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Of course, all the gifts that I said were not that good are still great gifts. If you receive any of these, be grateful. Someone gave you a gift. Obviously it's great. You got something for free. What are you complaining about? Stop complaining. Uh, this was all in good faith and for fun. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have new videos every week. And leave a comment in a comment section below. Let me know what are some of the best and worst gifts you can receive as a watch collector. By the way, today on my wrist, I'm wearing my Rolex GMT Master 2. I have an unboxing video of this watch. That video can be found on the YouTube channel. I will also leave it linked in the description below. Also in the description below, there are a few links. The first link is a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. The second link is a link to bondnatorstraps.com. I will also leave some links to the items that I talked about in this video, like watchmaking tools, uh, watch straps, watch rolls, etc., etc. So have a look at the description if you're looking for some good gift ideas on a budget. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys next time.